Hey guys welcome back, and in this tutorial we will create this promotional post design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming designs. So let's jump right into Illustrator. First go to File and create a new artboard with square dimensions. Select the Rectangle tool, and create a square equal to the size of the canvas. Open the Gradient panel. Apply a radial gradient to this square. And invert it. Change the black side of this gradient to a bright green color. And the white side to another green color. Note down the RGB codes for these colors. And apply them in the gradient. Now select the Pen tool. And create a triangle shape like this. Change its color to white. Now we will copy this triangle in a circular path like this. Select the Rotate tool. Click at some vertical distance from this triangle. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy like this. Now press CTRL D several times to repeat this last step. Select all these triangles. Press CTRL G to group them. Align them to the center of the canvas. And decrease their opacity to 10%. Now apply a black and white radial gradient to these triangles. And change both sides of the gradient to white. Click on this right slider of the gradient. And decrease its opacity to zero. Now these triangles are creating some nice shading. Slightly scale them up to increase the shading in the background. Select the Rectangle tool, and create a rectangle at the bottom side. Apply a dark green color to this rectangle. Note down the RGB code for this color. Click here to activate the stroke. And apply a white stroke to this rectangle. Increase the stroke value to 10. Open the Effect menu. Distort and Transform. And Zigzag. Click on Preview to check the effect in real time. Decrease the size to 5 pixels. Select 10 ridges per segment. And select Smooth Points from here. Now this rectangle is looking more appropriate. Now we can add our main subject images here. Download all these files from the video description. Then first drag this smartphone mockup in Illustrator. Scale it down to a suitable portion. Align it to the center. And place it slightly towards the top side. Slightly adjust this mock-up if needed. Now drag this woman employee image in Illustrator. Scale it down as well. And align it to the center. Place it on the top side of the smartphone. and slightly scale it up to fill the smartphone screen. Now apply a shadow to this image. Open the effect menu, and select drop shadow from the list. Note down these values for the shadow and hit OK. Now the subject is looking more realistic. 
Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu. And lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing the background. Select this rounded rectangle tool. And create a rounded rectangle here like this. Apply a gray color to this rectangle. Note down the RGB code for this color. Now we will add some food products here. Drag this food image in Illustrator. Scale it down according to the rectangle shape. And place it in the center of this rectangle. Adjust it properly inside this rectangle shape. Now write some text for this food product. Write the name of the product here. Note down the font that I've used here. And increase its font weight. Align it to the center. And slightly adjust the font size. Select the Type tool, and click and drag to create a text box. Write some text about the food product. Decrease its font weight, and the font size. Slightly adjust this text box like this. Decrease its opacity to 60%. Slightly adjust its position like this. And align it to the center. Select this full rectangle. Hold down the Alt key, and click and drag to create a copy for the opposite side. Replace the product for this rectangle. Change the food image as well. Scale it down similarly. And place it in the center. Select both these rectangles. And align them to the center of the canvas. Now finally create a third copy of this rectangle. Align it to the center. And scale it up to fill the empty space. Replace the product for this third rectangle. Drag this third food image in Illustrator. Make adjustments to this image as well. Adjust the alignment and the position. Now we will apply a shadow to make them more appropriate. Select these rectangles and the food images. Open the effect menu, and select drop shadow. Use the same previous values and hit OK. Now we have some nice product details.
select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle here. Change its color to the same green color. And align it to the center of the larger rectangle. Open the effect menu. And round its corners. Select a suitable value and hit OK. Write some text for this rectangle. Increase its font weight, and the font size. Change its color to white. And place it in the center of the rectangle. Place it on the bottom side like this. Add your logo at the top left corner. Drag your logo in Illustrator. Scale it down properly. And place it on a position like this. Write some discount offer here. Select the ellipse tool, and create a small circle here. Apply a yellow color to this circle. Note down the RGB code for this color. Apply the same shadow to this circle shape. Use the same previous values. Now write some discount offer here. Use some other font for this text. Place it in the center of this circle. And adjust its font size. Note down the font that I've used. Place this discount text closer to the subject image. Now finally write some text at the bottom side. Write any headline text that you like. Align it to the center. Apply the same yellow color to this headline and increase the font size. Create a copy of any of the text boxes and place it here. Change its color to white and adjust the text box according to the headline. This banner design is now complete. Open the object menu, and select unlock all. This will unlock the background. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the canvas. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu, and make a clipping mask. And here is the final output of the promotional banner. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.